Now, the body that represents energy companies has admitted for the first time that a north-south divide in smart meter technology is causing issues for some customers. There are an estimated 36 million smart meters in Britain. The government's ambition back in 2011 was to have one installed in every household and small business by 2019. But the latest figures show a third of homes or businesses still aren't using one. It's also thought that around three and a half million devices simply aren't working, meaning some customers are unable to keep track of their bills and are being charged incorrectly. Now, whether or not your smart meter works properly can also depend on where you live, with customers in Northern England and Scotland appearing to have the most problems, as Zoe Conway has been finding out. Hi, Hartesh. Hi. I'm Zoe. Hartesh Batu lives in Glasgow. So this is my smart meter in here in this cupboard. He got a smart meter hoping it could help lower his energy bills, but he says it never worked. In fact, that's actually my sixth smart meter because I've had them replaced that many times. A smart meter is meant to send data to your energy supplier, but if the signal isn't strong enough to reach your house, it won't work. When I caught up with Hartesh a few weeks later, he said that's the problem his energy supplier diagnosed. Basically, they said that because I'm so far north, that there will be a, a problem with the signals or something, some kind of signalling issue. You know, I, I just thought that was a bit... That was bonkers, because I live in Glasgow, I'm hardly, you know, up in the Shetlands, I'm not rural at all. In the north of England and Scotland, radio signals are used for your smart meter to send data to your energy company. In the Midlands and south of England, the mobile phone or cellular network is used. If you have a weak signal in the south, it can be boosted by an aerial. But if you're in the north, where radio signals are used, it can't. Smart meter engineers who spoke anonymously to BBC Panorama said the difference can make it harder to connect devices in the north of England and Scotland compared to the rest of Great Britain. In the south and central region, the hubs are a lot more reliable than the hubs in the north and Scotland. 3G is a lot faster. The technology is a lot more up to date. The radio frequencies are not as fast or reliable. Energy UK has confirmed for the first time to Panorama that there is a regional divide. There are issues in the north, we do know that. We've been talking to all the suppliers have been sort of sharing their experiences so that there's a really good picture of what is and isn't happening and where things are going wrong. What do you mean there are issues in the north? So there are sometimes issues with the network signal in terms of how it transmits and how it kind of pings information back and forth and they just aren't strong enough in certain areas. It was the coalition government's decision to split the communications network for smart meters 12 years ago. At the time, it was decided radio signals would work best in Northern England and Scotland because they could reach rural communities more easily. Hartesh is unimpressed. I just think it's astonishingly bad in terms of the, the technology. I do feel like how could billions of pounds be spent on something so bad? Hartesh's supplier, Octopus Energy, say they've now fixed Hartesh's meter by taking the unusual step of connecting it to the mobile phone network instead. It said it was frustrated by government regulations that dictate it must use radio waves technology in Scotland and Northern England. Capita, which runs the communications network, said it advises against alternative solutions because there'd be no contractual or consumer protections for the meter user. It says it provides 99.3% coverage across Britain and it's currently exploring alternative technology solutions. Most experts agree smart meters can help to deliver lower bills and lower carbon emissions. But if the tech problems continue, that could put people off having them and undermine the government's goal of getting them in every home. Zoe Conway, BBC News.